Why are so many Africans dying of cancer today? Hello. This is Professor Singer again, and I want to share some insights which I hope you will find valuable. Dr. Thomas Seifried is a professor of biology, genetics, and biochemistry at Boston College. From Dr. Seifert's findings and the lessons we can draw from traditional African societies, it's clear that a significant part of cancer prevention lies in aligning our lifestyles with the metabolic health these societies naturally cultivated. Traditional African communities, as well as other indigenous groups, had lifestyles that kept them largely free from the types of cancer we see today. They did not have constant access to high-carb, processed foods and were more physically active elements that helped maintain a balanced metabolic state which dr seifert suggests is key in reducing cancer risks adopting aspects of these lifestyles could mean favoring a diet that minimizes processed sugars and refined carbs which are the main fuels for cancer cells and instead emphasizing nutrient-rich low-carb options Regular physical activity, another hallmark of traditional lifestyles, plays a dual role in maintaining healthy blood glucose levels and strengthening mitochondrial health, both essential in preventing the cellular shifts that lead to cancer. Intermittent fasting or ketogenic eating, similar to the naturally cyclical eating patterns of traditional communities, may also help us manage our metabolic health better by entering into a state called ketosis, where the body relies on ketones rather than glucose for energy. This state limits the resources that fuel cancer cells, making it harder for them to thrive. Furthermore, the emphasis on community, lower stress levels, and natural sleep cycles within these societies also contributes significantly to overall health. Chronic stress, poor sleep, and exposure to environmental toxins, often lower in traditional settings, are known to damage mitochondria and create environments where cancer cells can develop. By focusing on these areas, we can mirror some of the benefits of the lifestyle wisdom inherent in these traditional African societies to reduce our modern-day cancer risks effectively. The Western lifestyle, characterized by a high intake of processed foods, sedentary routines, chronic stress, and environmental toxins, creates conditions ripe for cancer development. Processed foods, rich in sugars and unhealthy fats, disrupt our body's metabolic balance, encouraging high blood sugar and insulin levels, conditions that fuel cancer cells, which rely heavily on glucose for energy. Sedentary lifestyles further contribute by lowering metabolic efficiency and compromising mitochondrial health, making it easier for cellular functions to become deranged. Add to this mix the chronic stress typical of modern life, and you have an environment that continuously wears down the body's natural defenses, weakening immunity and resilience at the cellular level. As Western diets and habits have made their way into African societies, they've brought these health risks along. In traditional African societies, diets were based on whole, unprocessed foods with natural sources of protein, fiber, and fats, combined with regular physical activity. Cancer rates were historically low in these populations, likely due to such metabolic health advantages. But with urbanization and the widespread availability of sugary drinks, fast food, and refined carbohydrates, modern African diets increasingly resemble those in the West. This shift, compounded by rising pollution and a more sedentary lifestyle, has contributed to a sharp increase in cancer rates. Westernized lifestyles have also impacted social structures and stress levels. Previously, community ties and lifestyles in African societies supported natural rhythms, lessening the mental and emotional stresses that now come with urban life. Today, as individuals adopt Western-style work schedules and face higher living costs, stress levels have risen dramatically. Chronic stress can impair immune function, contribute to poor sleep, and worsen lifestyle habits, all of which are factors known to increase cancer risk. In essence, by adopting Western dietary habits, stress levels, and a more sedentary, urban lifestyle, many African societies have inadvertently exposed themselves to the same cancer-promoting conditions prevalent in the West. To counter this, there is growing recognition of the need to return to healthier, whole food diets, regular exercise, and a balanced, community-focused lifestyle that prioritizes mental and physical well-being. 
Embracing elements of traditional African lifestyles isn't just about reconnecting with cultural roots. It's a pathway to living longer, healthier, and more balanced lives. The practices that shaped your ancestors' daily routines, eating whole, natural foods, staying active, and maintaining strong social bonds are powerful tools for wellness that modern science is increasingly validating. Returning to these ways, even in small steps, can be incredibly beneficial in today's world. Think of food as a foundation. Traditional diets centered on natural, unprocessed foods like fresh vegetables, whole grains, nuts, legumes, and lean meats or fish. These foods fuel your body naturally, keeping blood sugar stable and metabolism healthy. By reducing processed sugars, refined carbs, and artificial additives, you protect your cells and reduce your risk of diseases, including cancer. Movement is another key aspect. Traditionally, life involved natural forms of exercise, walking, farming, gathering, dancing, and working together to accomplish tasks. By staying active, even if it's through walking more or incorporating simple exercises, you support your heart, muscles, and mental well-being. Exercise boosts your resilience and strengthens your body against health challenges. And don't underestimate the power of social bonds and community. Traditional African societies emphasized family and community, often reducing stress through shared responsibilities and celebrations. Modern life can be isolating, but making time for family and friends, leaning on each other for support, and sharing joy and challenges together can reduce stress and improve mental health. Studies even show that strong social connections are linked to longer, healthier lives. So, returning to your roots isn't about giving up modern comforts, but about bringing the best of the past into the present. By embracing the wisdom in your heritage, you create a lifestyle that honors both your culture and your well-being. It's a way to thrive physically, mentally, and spiritually in the modern world.